Okay, hi everyone. I have been trying to mix up some colors to do um, a bloom recipe. Um, the technique is the drizzle swipe um, spin kind of recipe with the bloom paints. Um, I started filming. I've been having a lot of trouble. I just relocated my art room and can't find anything so it's been kind of a disaster um anyway I'm using um a deep base untinted high gloss enamel and polycrylic and hopefully you guys can see these so this is bare and it looks I think it dries clear but it looks kind of like um kind of like glue almost it's it's almost um kind of like egg white almost you can almost tell that it, it's probably a clear they're dry anyway I put a little bit of polycrylic in the bottom of each of these and I'm using my um, primary elements from color art um, to mix up some colors and I've already mixed a few so we did this is peacock feather and it's kind of like a deep teal and then this one is a bling it, which is um, instead of being the primary elements, it's kind of like a um, pearly iridescent kind of. And this one's called pixie dust. So that's that one. And then this one didn't work. I started with a different, instead of the bear, I had another one that says, um, it's a Sherman Williams. I'll show you what not to use. I got this to your exterior high gloss um, enamel finish. It says deep base and it says must be tinted before use. So I assumed it was untinted, but when I open it up, it looks like bright white and I mixed it in with, um, I did this, um, key lime that was a really bright, rich lime green. And then when I added in the, um, the Sherman Williams, it was like adding white and it just muted it down. So then I added a little bit of a deco art, uh, peri dot green just to darken it a little bit, but I don't even know yet if I'm going to use that one anyway. So now we're doing persimmon, and I, this whole what colors to use has always got me a little stumped. That's the hardest part for me. And then when I find a color combo I like. And I use it a lot, and then I'm like, oh, this is so boring. They all start to look the same, but um, anyway, I will, ooh, this one's really pretty. So it's kind of like, got a, it's like an orangey red a little bit, and the lighting in here really sucks, but anyway. Um, so I'm going to move this one out of the way. So now that I've, I've mixed in the pigment with the polycrylic, because it mixes a little easier with the poly, now I'm going to add in this, and it's typically about one part poly to three parts of the enamel, but I'm winging it here because I don't really have very good measuring stuff for this right now, like some spoons. Okay, and I'm definitely making way more than I need, but... Okay. We will probably have leftovers. <laughs> so stirring this up. I now I need one more color. I gotta think of something. Um what about like a brown or a copper? What about that? That might be kind of cool. So you can see these are like really thick, really thick, um, the paints that you use for the bloom recipe are, they're not like the normal paints that you would do like in a flip cut. These are definitely different and, um, I already, you know, I can't remember some of the stuff I mentioned when I was filming before that probably won't. Be included so hopefully I'm not repeating myself um, the uh, the bloom recipe you kind of have to tilt a lot of it off of the canvas so you put your pillow paint on your colors 
and in this case I'm going to try and spin it but um yeah I haven't had a lot of luck with that so far I've done a few but it really wasn't pleased with you know the inconsistency of, of what I was doing so no guarantees on this one <laughs> um, okay now let's see I'm gonna try and add one more just maybe regular color for ideas so got the Prussian blue I think the Prussian blue or the brown and I think the Prussian blue is what I'm gonna go for I think so okay so I've already um, got the poly in here I'm just gonna put a little bit of the Prussian blue and you don't need much we say like a dab and then put some of this in and that was a stick. So this is just regular Amsterdam um, basic paint. And like I said, you don't need a lot. All the products that are in with it are untinted, so it should be pretty deep and rich. Should same match pretty much the same color that comes out of the tube. Since I'm not really diluting it with white or anything like that. So alrighty. That's not too bad. So I have this, this is the Walmart, you can't really see it, but it's um, the white Walmart color, it's color place interior latex semi-gloss wall paint. And I know some people use the satin or the, they don't use um, the semi-gloss, but this is what I bought and so that's what we're gonna use. I've, I've got another can of it, but this is my, this is my older can. I will try this. Um, we got a stir stick in here. There's a little left down here. swiping. I know I've seen the ones I've seen they use like a deck of cards, which I don't have. But I do have some old credit card thingies that I can use. So, oops. Could be weird. Okay. This is, this is going to be This is what's called the pillow, and I think I'm going to just take it out to the edges, but leave more in the middle, I guess, just to kind of get full coverage, but I need more light up here. Also, this canvas isn't, it's very droopy. So that's not good either. It's like um, it loosened up or something. I know someone's probably yelling into the camera and going, what is she doing? This is crazy. I don't know what I'm doing. We're just playing. We're having fun. I'm the messy, messy, messy artist. Okay. So I have a lot of paint in the middle and then I just kind of wanted to get it out to the edges. Um, okay, I'm going to set this aside. I don't think I need it at the moment. 
Um, I may have way too much paint, but that's okay. Um, so we're going to do this drizzle technique. And like I said, all the paints I have are kind of, um, or all the bloom techniques, and most of them are the primary elements, except for that last blue one that we did. So we're just going to, we're just going to do it. That was the one that was mixed with the weird house paint. Um, oh, these silicone cups are hard to... This is the peacock feather that I really like. Okay. okay this is the persimmon. And do this one next and then I'll do the dark one. I don't know why I'm doing the dark one last, but this is the opalescent kind of pearly iridescent. You don't really see the color much, but I think it will look really pretty over the other colors. Okay. Okay, this is um, this is the Amsterdam paint. Might be a little too thick. Okay. Okay. Um, I do have some different pillow paints mixed up. Um, so I have my Amsterdam with Floetrol. That's um, the Amsterdam um, titanium white. And then I also have, I think it's the same color blue. So I probably won't use that one. Um, but I like as a cell activator. This one is super full. Um, I also have brown. That one might look cool. So, what I saw was actually she used a piece of cardboard. Um, I don't set this over. No. So, it's not on here. Oh, no. Okay, this is pretty big. I don't know, should I try it? Put the paint on the back and then, cool. Okay, now I need paper towel. Pretty cool. Um, that's working okay. This is definitely a little too big, but I like this one's smaller, but it doesn't have the bend. So I kind of like the bend, and I can do it with the cards, but this just feels a little more natural. So I'm just gonna.
I should use some of the brown. I'm gonna do a little more of the white here. I'm gonna go. This is what's so fun about this is with um, acrylic pours and all the different techniques and all the different paint types and mediums and there's like so much different things you can do and I just think it has like a lot of really cool um, variety to stuff but you can also just play around and you know like see if you get something you really like and it if it doesn't come out like it's you know, you just do another one, or you pour over it, or, anyway, I'm going to try this now with the, um, with the credit card, so I've just got this old, um, gift card type thing, I'm going to put some brown on it, I'm going to, I'm going to go through the middle, cool beans, okay, I was supposed to also do kind of a drag through it. <laughs> okay, let's do, let's do one more with the brown. think I think I need to do any more of this Ooh, I do kind of like the brown cool I'm gonna do one more one more with the brown I'm gonna go all the way down that way okay now I'm going to move this into the box and put the box over here so I don't think so this is my box it's not real big I didn't have a lot of space the one first time I tried it now they have more space I might actually get something a little better for this okay I'm gonna set it down in here and I'm gonna try and move the camera so you guys can, can see let's see if I can see if I can do that just a minute okay guys I don't know. Last time I tried it, it was not very good, but let's see. I need to figure out a way to attach my plastic a little better. And then I think I need to somehow secure the lazy Susan. Let's just Yeah. It is not happy. Now that's not gonna work. So, let's take it out. I'm going to just tilt this and see what happens here. Because this might be going to work. Okay. this is you don't have to blow because that was the part that I could never quite get right with the um the actual you know the blooms where you you put it in the puddles and then you blow it I could never get the blow and it would stick and it wouldn't it just wasn't working didn't didn't like it at all this is kind of cool kind of like it definitely like the colors Cool. Now I usually, when I don't have anything else under it, I either have push pins or um, I have my grate underneath. And I think it's 
still a little too thick. So I'm gonna look at that person and Use it all. Let's see if I can go back a little. This is super cool. I think I'm going to do the tiles next. So we'll do some of those to kind of match. This is really neat. Sorry, I'm not tilting it towards the camera. Okay, I'm gonna leave this one. I kind of like it. I hope it doesn't crack when it dries. I'm not sure if it's too thick, but let me leave it over here to dry. Let me a spot for it. So this is what we use for pillow paint, and it's not diluted with anything. It's just paint right out of the can. Should we? I'm gonna put these together. We'll see. And put a puddle in the middle of each. Okay. So, let's see. We will. Let's start with this really muted one because it is. Kind of muted, but basically, I'm just gonna put the put this on kind of in a random drizzle, and then we will swipe it, and then we will. I was gonna spin them, but I can't. My spinner setup isn't really very great, so. Yeah, I'm. Um, I have a little cake spinner, but it doesn't really stay put when I set it into the box. The box I have is kind of small, and then so the, the spinner wants to move, and then the piece of art on top of the spinner wants to move, and I'm just not, not doing well with it. This persimmon is so pretty. I just, um, we just poured this on a canvas, and it was so pretty, so pretty. I'm going to see about... Maybe using a little more than I did last time. I don't know. I'm sure I'm overthinking this. Way overthinking it, but okay. This is the um, pixie dust. It's like a um, iridescent, pearly kind of. And I think got a little, little too carried away there. And then the blue, just to kind of. This one was a little thick, so I don't know why I'm having trouble. I needed to probably add a little more polyacrylic to this to thin it up a little. Okay, so what we're doing, I have some swipe colors. This is um, Amsterdam White and Floetrol, and then I have, um, I want to say it's Van Dyke Brown. They're both Amsterdam, but I've had it mixed up for a while, and I think I kind of forgot what I was using, so yeah. For this one, I need some more paper towels ready to go because this one seems to 
get a little messy. Okay, so I'm going to use, I have some old uh, gift card, plastic gift cards. I'm going to do, I think, honestly, I like the, uh, the brown, so I'm going to, let me do that. I'm going to dip it in, in the back, and then I'm going to swipey it. See what happens here. So this is kind of like when you, if you've seen the bloom technique where they blow, only I never could blow it very well. So when I saw someone doing this, I was like, oh, I could probably do that. And this is my first time trying it, honestly. So um, tonight, it's first time ever, so. Yeah, kind of cool. Okay, one paper towel down for the count. Um, okay, so now I can either use the white or I could do more brown. Let's try out some of the white. So I'm just putting the white on the back. And these are so small that there's really not a lot of space for getting funky. So do one more. Oops. Okay. Come on, let me put this 
in a little. Yeah, so I, I did lose a lot of the lacing, but the colors are really cool. Um, I think what I'm going to do, and these, these might be too thick, they might end up cracking, because I don't have a lot of experience with this technique, but I'm going to add a little more color onto this one, and then I'm going to just re-swipe it a little. So... Might as well, because why not, right? And then, okay. The lid off that would help. I don't know if you guys can see this. I haven't figured out this new art space very well yet. To uh, see. Tilt it again, see if we can. Looking great, except for the part I missed swiping. <laughs> A big blob of stuff that isn't. I don't know. There's like it's working, but not a hundred percent. Let's see. I don't know if you can see that, but I've got like this. Some gray going on too. I think the brown mixing with the white a little bit too much. So these are kind of cool. Yeah, I like those. Okay, I'm gonna do one more canvas with the same colors, and I'm gonna clean it all up. We're going to call it good. I am still not pleased with this little spot here, though. So, hmm. Let's see. I'm probably just kind of making it worse, but I'm going to let it sit for just a second. So... Yeah, let me, uh, let me need some of the sound back. Okay. Okay, we're going to do one last pour with all these colors. Pour it in the middle, hoping that it, uh, hope I have enough here. I have a little more in the jar if I need it, but. Okay. 
we're gonna definitely be um, look at these. Okay. Okay. Persimmon. This one's been looking so pretty. So that last one was the um, peacock feather. This is persimmon. And this persimmon is super cool, especially when I swipe it with brown, which I'm going to do. Just making a mess here. <laughs> um, okay, this is my bling it, and this is pixie dust. And this one also, I think, looks really pretty with the brown and the persimmon. Oops. And I didn't mean to put a blob of it, but... You know what? It just seems like it doesn't matter. You just kind of go with it. And this is the um, Prussian blue, I believe, from Amsterdam, but it was definitely thick. clean the tile off and put some more on here. Okay. So it's mixed with Floetrol. It's just Amsterdam paint and Floetrol. And um, so it's the cell activator is what they call it in this technique. And um, I'm going to use this. So we're going to dip it in the swipe color, get some on the back. And then I'm going to just swipe. And this is just really random. I mean, I'm not, I don't know. I mean, I honestly, this is my first time doing it, this, and it's kind of watching a few videos of some artists. So I'm going to. That one was a little too much, I think. I went really deep. Ah, really deep on that. Not good. Um, now my angle's not good is part of the problem. Let's see if I can do this. Do this better. Last time we took a stick and we we kind of made some lines. I'll put one more over here. Okay. Now I'm gonna tilt it. So
got some interesting motion on it. The colors are really pretty. Let's see if I can just get it back to the middle just a little bit without. Okay, honestly, I kind of like it. Yeah, I do like that. I am a mess. Just a mess here. So I'm getting these Lumi paints are kind of <laughs> they're they're sticky. It's like end up with paint all over your hand. Okay, I am gonna clean up a little and then I'll bring the camera down so you guys can see. Okay, before I take you down, I wanted to show you my new art space. Um, it's just one of my kids' old bedrooms and I put some shelves up on the wall and got an extra table. I've got a couple of my pieces over there that I did and um, got a bunch of extra junk in the corner there, sorry. <laughs> anyway, let me, um, let me show you what we've did. They're all with the same colors. And I've got my shadow on it, but this is the first one. I thought I think it came out pretty cool. Okay, here's all the tiles. And I can't seem to keep my shadow off, but there's that. And then here's the last one. And this one, I think I lost a little much of the colors it's a little too muted but it's still really pretty it just has a lot of the white showing through but it's okay I, I definitely definitely like it anyway sorry about all the shadows I need to figure out my lighting better in here anyway so I have more supplies down here lots of paints um now it's pretty much full over there I've got all my canvases that I've been stocking up on they go on sale some of my house paint and stuff. So anyway, that's the space.